I'm here with Hall of Famer Jim Butler. You just watched him training and practicing with David Sakai and Del Suiris and saw some of his serves and everything. And I'm just curious, Jim, after a hiatus of, what, eight years due to injury? Correct. First, I, I was out for about eight and a half years. I've been uh, playing for the last year quite a bit. Uh, it's great to be back after taking eight and a half years off. I kind of feel like a kid again. The game's new to me. So happy to be here. Happy to be back in Las Vegas. And we're happy to have you. Now, you uh, were as high as what ranking in the world at one time? 70 in the world. And that's pretty good for an American. Yes. Yeah, good for an American. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that was excellent. And I'm just curious, since it's, we've changed the size of the ball, now you played for a few years with the bigger ball. The serves, you know, only uh, two serves, play to 11. What changes are, or have you seen, or what, have you seen any now that you're coming back this time? I think it's easier to win a tournament from a stamina point of view because the matches are to 11 and they're not as long as they used to be when it was to 21. In that sense, it's good for us older guys to have a chance against these younger guys. As far as the equipment, once you get used to the ball, you kind of forget how it used to be with the 38 millimeter ball. So it definitely slows it down slightly, but the players in this day and age are so powerful and so fast. I don't even really remember what it used to be like. It just seems like the same to me as far as the ball. Well, with the new equipment, are you using, I'm without, you're welcome to mention if you want, but without mentioning necessarily the exact rubber you're using, are you using today's newest rubber or are you using something that you've been familiar with? I'm using today's newest rubber. I use a Juick Stellan Bankston offensive racket and Juick Nano Spin 2 rubber. I prefer the new equipment. We don't have to glue anymore, glue you know, between every match. We can just go out there, serve it up, and our racket's good to go. So in that sense, I love it, depending on which player you talk to. Some would rather keep gluing like they did in the old days, but I, I actually love the new equipment. It feels great to me. It, it, it's good for my game. Okay. Um, when On your comeback now, I know you had the pleasure of playing one of our best up-and-coming, Ariel. And uh, how did that match go, and what did you think of her performance? Because I said just a little, uh, a little earlier, I think that she's sort of, uh, maybe not mentally, uh, consciously thinking it, but she's sort of following in your footsteps and that you're known as a tremendous backhand player and your forehand a little weaker side, where Ariel is for sure strong with her backhand. I mean, that's why she took she only want to take two games in the Olympics. I don't think she was started <laughs> playing. By the time I stopped, I don't think she had really seen me. So I think it's just coincidence that she has a strong backhand game. Or two Americans <laughs> playing at a high level in world level and using their backhand. Ariel's one of the greatest talents this country's ever seen, men or women. When I played her in March, I was shocked and impressed to go out there and actually play her in a competition and feel her level of play. Uh, people like to say she plays like a male, even though she's female, she has a male game. I think she proved that in the Olympics when she almost beat the Olympic champion and you know won a couple rounds before losing finally to the Olympic champion in a very close match. So whose backhand's better? <laughs> I'll take I'll take Ariel's backhand right now. I'll take Ariel's any day right now. <laughs> and you're a, you're a dark horse, but you have a chance to win this national championship. I'm third seeded, so uh, that my first goal is to try to get to the semifinals. That's really my goal coming in. I don't expect to win the tournament, but certainly. If things go my way and if I'm able to find my rhythm and find my A game, I feel I'm as strong as anyone here. But uh, Timmy Wong and Mark Kaczynski definitely the two guys to beat. And you are having fun this time around. I'm happy to be here and I hope to perform well today. Well, thank you very much for the interview. Thank you very much.